Ramon Hernandez describes Tejano as a Big Ten genre of music. A genre that can't be pigeonholed into one niche, one that's inextricably linked to other styles and sounds created by Mexican Americans. He traces its roots back more than 100 years ago in the 1910s when Mexican Americans were introduced to the accordion. That started when the Germans came to Texas to pick cotton. The Mexican Americans and the Germans were picking cotton. At the end of the day, they would break out the accordions and they would have like a little jam session. And that's what brought all the cotton pickers or sharecroppers and people together in the evening. With the introduction of the accordion came Mexican polkas and ranchera. The addition of an acoustic guitar or violin made it a conjunto. By the 1920s, Mexican-American orchestras began popping up all over Texas. These orchestras were made up of a variety of instruments, guitars, violins, sometimes a banjo, trumpets, saxophones, perhaps a flute. In the late 1920s, microphones marked a change in the music industry in general, allowing singers to perform without straining their voices. Mexican-American conjuntos and orchestras evolved side by side for decades, influenced not only by changes in the types of instruments available to them, but also by pop culture in general. We are influenced by what was playing on American radio or what they saw in the movies. So we kind of emulated what was going there. Music continued to evolve in 1948 when Fender mass-produced the first electric guitar, and in 1951, Fender developed the precision electric bass. All of a sudden, they didn't need the upright bass, the tololoche, the contrabajo. In 1954, Isidro Lopez records a song that sets Mexican-American music in a new direction. That song was called Díganle. It becomes a hit and is recorded again and again throughout the years. Therefore, he's considered the father of Tejano music. It was around this same time that a lot was going on in the Mexican-American music scene at once. There were Chicano conjuntos, country artists, bebop and doo-wop groups, plus Chicano rock and roll. The mid-60s marked the introduction of the compact Farfisa organ. The use of the organ helped catapult the song Wooly Bully by Sam the Shams to immense popularity. In 1979, the Oberheim synthesizer hit the market, signaling a major turning point in Tejano music.